from your weather authority. Here's meteorologist Tabon Sharifi, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Happy Monday, everyone, and welcome back to Contra Valley this morning. Time right now is 6.16. This is a live look out of your Cactus North camera. Just a gorgeous morning. Temperatures are mild, but we will be above average today before a cold front comes through for the afternoon. That'll start to bring us some scattered rain and storm chances, but leave us below average for the rest of the week. Temperatures waking up again nice and mild in the mid to upper 70s. 76 for San Angel, 75 in Eden, 76 degrees as well in Ballinger this morning. We saw a little bit of rainfall develop off towards the north and near Sterling City. All that has really started to dissipate away already, though. But we have some more rain chances on the way. So we're talking about that cold front coming through for the afternoon, leaving behind some scattered to isolated showers and thunderstorms. This is around 4:30. You can even see off towards the north some moderate rainfall indicated by that yellow coloring there, but very scattered to isolated in nature. You could see some gusty winds as well heading towards the afternoon and evening, keeping those rain chances. Mostly for our southern counties heading into the overnight hours and early morning hours. But as those really start to push out of here, we will see mostly sunny skies heading into tomorrow afternoon. As far as today, warming up quickly, 92 degrees by lunchtime, hitting the upper 90s for this afternoon. Also, with those shower and thunderstorm chances, we will be above our normal, which is 96, but below our record of 108, set back in 2018. So definitely expect a warmer day out there, but a cooler week ahead. Here's a breakdown of your seven-day forecast. Those rain and thunderstorm chances coming in today, overnight, and into tomorrow morning, and then those temperatures will stay a little bit cooler. I hesitate to say cooler because we will be in the 90s, but still below our average. Look at those overnight low temperatures in the 60s.